Okay, you guys. Look at this freaking jewelry jar. That is what I'm about to open. It is like two feet tall and full to the brim. Well, not quite to the brim, but anyway. And this is what I paid for it. They never have jewelry jars at my store. And this was the only one they had. So I'm gonna open this. Let me get situated. All right, you guys, this is my first jewelry jar video. So hopefully you guys will be able to see everything. This jar is too big for me to show you me un, un uh, scissoring it up, but I'm sure y'all can hear it. And I'm just gonna dump it. I'm just gonna dump some. All right, I'm just gonna actually lay it like this. We got. I cannot believe that I just got this for $25. So we have like a little bracelet. Does not look like silver. Let me go get my magnet. I have a magnet strong enough to actually test this stuff out. So I guess I'll have to get one of those. Like I said, this is my very first box. So this little guy, this is really cool. I could see this. And I thought it might be sterling. I don't think it's got any marks on it. But it is cool. Uh-oh. It really feels like sterling, y'all. Uh, let me slide that back up. But anyway, that's very cool. I'll have to test that. A uh, pair of fashion earrings. Oh, now this magnet does work. Okay. It didn't really stick to this so this very well may be unmarked silver but it is sticking to these guys so these are just some little bangles they're cute though now on this video i'm probably going to break up into a couple of videos because it's going to be really long that's cute weird wooden sheep that's trash Already found a pair of earrings, although I don't know that they're anything worth keeping because they're kind of turning. I, get, I really hope that all this is in frame and it's okay, you guys. Um, bear with me, it's my first one. I'm gonna put those to the side of them, maybe. All right, let's see. Everything is so tangled. Okay, that is a trash, or I may break those little shells up and let my daughter make some stuff with that. This looks to be silver. Let's see. All right, this guy looks to be silver. Yes. Again, no marking that I can see, but I'm fairly sure that that is silver. Ouch, it's tiny though. I have a pretty small wrist. That must be a child's bracelet. Tangled, what looked to be an amethyst. Where did it go? Here's what fell off and it is marked 925 and it also has a mark on it. OW? So that's really pretty. And it's on a chain, but the chain is kind of tangled here so oh here we go so I'm pretty sure it's sterling as well so already you guys um score galore 925 so silver necklace with beautiful pendant really nice emerald cut pendant amethyst all right I've barely even broken into this thing and already found sterling stuff so I am beyond stoked okay this does not look like it is anything I don't think it's huh? I'm not gonna toss it because it might be silver too it's so delicate and it's got this thing wrapped around it so let's see I don't know it's not magnetic. Oh, wait. The clasp is kind of catching that magnet. So, I don't know. We'll put that in the maybe pile. Okay, 
This is strange. What is this ribbon thing? Okay, this is, this had this tied to it. No, that was on this weird thing. It's literally just like a piece of ribbon. Okay. Bye-bye. This is interesting. I don't know what it is. Just gold on a chain. It's not magnetic. So that's interesting. We'll get rid of the ribbon and save that. Okay. This looks like a little handmade lanyard. My daughter might like that. These are really pretty. Oh, I hope the other one's in here. Look how unique that is. And they still got a little stopper on them. Those look like, that looks like sterling too. Oh, for another one. Now this is nice. It is not sterling. I can tell by looking at it, but it's very interesting. Or is it? It is an Avon item, so no, it is not sterling. Super cute, though. Okay, so if anybody's interested in any of these items, y'all can contact me on my Facebook page um, about purchasing them. So, here's some little... How weird. I wonder if these are handmade. This is like plastic. Earrings. Okay, I see another sterling piece. Gorgeous. Don't know what this stone is. But that's beautiful. And it's marked S and it's got another marking on it too. But I guarantee you it's silver. I can tell by looking at it. That's very pretty. This is just the first layer, you guys, of everything that's in here. Okay, that is interesting. Copper necklace. I don't know that it's something I would wear, but that's very interesting. This is, let's see what this is. This is a belt, I think. Yeah, this is a pretty cool fancy schmancy belt. That's actually very pretty. Um, not something I would wear because I just don't wear stuff like this, but very, very pretty belt. Rhinestones, all the rhinestones are there. Nice. Perhaps not sterling. But. Not sterling, but an interesting, an interesting little necklace. I'm sure is not real gold. It looks way too yellow. And there's no markings on it. But again, I'm going to put it to the side and not get rid of it just in case. This is broken. I'm pretty sure this is a broken piece. Yeah, that's a shame. That's kind of a cool necklace. I bet it got broken being shoved in there. Okay, so hold on though. That could actually be pretty easily fixed. So I'm gonna put it to the side. What have we got here? A, got a little three-tiered necklace. Uh, the clasp is sort of bent and broken. See that? It's gonna, that can come, well, it really can't come undone, but I don't know that anybody would buy it like that, so let me save those beads for my dog. The sky, it's very tangled with another necklace, it looks like. And I don't 
I'm gonna deal with those later, y'all. Let's look at these. Oh, that's cute. Little beaded necklace, black beaded necklace. Nice. Okay, we've got a stretchy bracelet with a cross. Again, I will probably have my daughter cut that up to use for crafting. Okay, we've got a abalone little earring. Let's we'll see if we can find that one. This is nice. Nice necklace, nice piece of hair. That's actually super cute. All right, so we've got some nice, nice necklaces and some sterling. This is a leather cord that I don't see anything that goes with that, so we'll put that off to the side. Little seed beads, again, for my daughter. Black string, toss that. All right, let's get some more out. Look at these, okay? These are in a little baggie. They look like total costume jewelry. Or wait, are they silver? They might be sterling. No, they look pretty shiny, don't they? I think I need to get better lighting for my next video. I don't know about those. Put them to the side. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, this is Brighton. Yes, super cute. What am I doing? Did I just flip it? Yeah, okay. So that's very, very nice. There's your little Brighton B. Here's what it should look like on the wrist. I twisted it up. It should look like that. Cute. I looked through here. It's a lot farther down. I did see a Gucci watch, but who has any clue as to whether it's real or not? Okay, this is interesting. It looks like it's turned, though. Like, it looks like somebody wore the crap out of it. It's very, very cute, though. Maybe it's supposed to look that way. I don't know. I'm going to put that to the side. We'll check that out. That's cute. We got some puka shells, puka shells with a little shark's tooth. This is, uh, this is interesting. Okay, wait. We're, we're going to stick away from the interesting one for a while. Here's a bangle, another bangle. Where's that other bangle that I found? That ropey looking one. I don't know what I did with it. Okay, well, we'll go there then. Okay, this is a fake and broken necklace, so that's going to go in the trash pile. These look like they may... No, they're rusty. Yeah, no, trash. Okay. My hands smell like metal. Ugh. Okay, what is happening here? This is supposed to not be attached, but somehow it is attached. So if it's supposed to be attached right there, I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna, again, let my daughter cut that up. Interesting earring. We'll look for the mate to that one. I see some turquoise. Let's see if I can get it out. Very nice, looks like a handmade turquoise and lapis earring. And I'm gonna bet that that's sterling right there. So let's hope we find that one too. Uh, here's just a little costume, like Alex and Ani type bracelet with no, nothing on it. So we'll put that with the Bangles, little shell necklace. Gonna let my daughter again have that one. 
Okay, this I was looking at, but it's all tangled up. Let me see if I can unhook it. This is a Claire's necklace, but I kind of like it. So you've got all the same size, little rhinestones, and then they graduate into bigger ones right here at the middle. Yeah, that's cool. I kind of like that. Two, so many like really unique pieces of jewelry. Okay. Pretty sure it's, oh yeah, it's straight up costume. Okay. What is it though? Is it a necklace? Oh yeah. It's like, oh, I like this. Oop, sorry. Did I move the camera, y'all? No. Okay. So, oh gosh. I hope y'all have been able to see everything that I have been showing you. Okay. I'm realizing I need to put things over here more. Sorry about my dogs, y'all. Okay, so that's cute. So you would hook it up like this and it would hang kind of off center. That's very cute. Okay. Little initial pin. And a C. Put that with the earrings. Grand slam button. Don't need that. Don't need that. Two, two buttons. Okay. Here we've got a pearl necklace. I mean, pearl, not real pearl. It does have a marking that I don't recognize. Can y'all see that? Y'all let me know if you feel like you want it to be brighter. I mean, hopefully I'll find another one. Who knows? This could be one and done. Ooh, I love that. That's really pretty. And then this bracelet sort of matches it. I saw this too, but I couldn't tell what it was. So it's a men's bracelet, but it looks like it's missing the, um, the latch. It's probably stainless. Yeah, it's missing one link that the clasp should be on. There's a, a little um, hoop. This is an interesting copper bangle like that. That's cool. Now this I saw, and it looked like a Brighton too, but it's stretchy. So that's interesting. It's like leather and beads and stretchy. That's, that's real cute. Hey, another earring. What is that? Oh, okay, it does have a clasp. I was like, how do you put that on? There's no way you guys are going to be able to see it, but it says 925 right here. So this is another little, very delicate, pretty silver necklace. Little bangles, more little bangles. Another earring. So far, I haven't found a ton of matches. A uh, little blown glass fish. Again, I'm gonna take that apart, let my daughter have that. Another little bangle. Wondering if it might be silver. I don't see any markings on it. I'm gonna put it over to the side with the silver stuff to check. We've got a little infinity necklace. I used to have one almost exactly like this. Who knows what happened to it? Costume jewelry, okay. Here's another earring, but not the same size. Oh look, we got a little ear cuff. Let's see what we got going on here. An earring. An ear cuff attached to it. That is unique. 
see if we found another one like it. Oh, here's another earring too. That's interesting. Looks very old or just dirty. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. This actually looks like sterling too. I'm pretty sure that it is, but I don't see, I don't see any markings on it, but it's a nice, it's nice. Okay, we've got a matching set here of whatever this is yellow earrings and uh, <laughs> yeah right that is not ever gonna get untangled I'm pretty sure mm -mm. hold on wait a minute wait a minute no no the earrings are cute though so I'll keep those off to the side. Okay, here's another set of clip-on earrings. These are actually very nice. No markings on them either, but those are those are those are nice. Okay, got this. This is cute. It says, let's see. I know it's not silver. Or maybe it's stainless. It's not sterling, though. There's no way. It says, so it's got a little heart with a cross. It says love, hope, and faith. And then an anchor. That's super cute. And then the big clasp has got that on it. Okay. Okay. That looks handmade, and I'm going to throw it away. Okay, that's interesting. That's not, uh, definitely not turquoise, so don't know what that is. I think that that will be best taken apart. Okay. Here's a little, I think, pewter. Maybe sterling whale's tail. Cute on a little necklace. It feels to me like pewter, not sterling. Uh-oh. We got one earring and the other one that looks like bit the dust. But if I can find it, I can just hook it back on right there. So I'm going to put those over to the side. I'm running out of room, you guys. That's not a bad thing. Oh, this is cute. Little tennis bracelet. It looks like it might be sterling or sterling plated. Although I don't know, those are not set. They're just stuck in there, so uh, probably not. I'm always drawn to the stuff that's like already in a little bag. Ugh, more hair. Okay, so this must be a set, and it is costume. It does have a marking on it, S-A-Q, and a little tag. It's cute. It's turning, though. Like, this This is really turned. The, I think that probably just the earrings are worth keeping. Okay, we've got a little Christmas light. Necklace. More shells. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. This might be a collector's item. Look what I just found, y'all. The chain is broken, but look at this pendant. It is E.T. And it's, wasn't it Gert? 
Wasn't that her name? And e she's kissing E.T. on the forehead. What? Gotta keep that. So there's an earring to match this necklace. We'll see if we find the other one. I am not even a quarter of the way through this thing, y'all. Looks like a charm bracelet with a horseshoe and a basketball. I don't know what that is. Oh, a, bowl, a bowling ball and bowling pins and a tennis racket. Looks old. It says Ruby on the tennis racket. Oh, how sweet. I wonder if each of her kids did something different. Oh, sweetness. Another one of those necklaces with the wire. That one was salvageable. This, oh, these are cool. I like these. So this is like a Larry, like a long necklace and you can like tie it, How you could tie it in a knot. I might actually keep this for myself. So you could do it like that or you could just wear it. Anyway, that's cool and it's all little seed beads. I like that. Okay, this is a very unique earring. I know I'm saying that over and over again, but some of the stuff I'm like, wow. Stretchy bracelet for my daughter. And we have another stretchy bracelet. Interesting. Asian inspired necklace, long. Another stretchy, stretchy. Oh, I have five minutes till I have to stop and go to this business dinner. So sad. This is another Avon piece. It is very tarnished though, and as far as I know, Avon's their stuff is not sterling, so I don't know that I can shine that up. Oh, here's a pair. No, just one. Just one big one. All right. We've got another shell type necklace and another earring attached to it that looks super duper like tarnishy. Doesn't read sterling to me, but maybe. See if we find the mate. Here's another one that's super tarnished up. Here's a little not sterling cross. And here's a little heart earring with a pearl drop. We'll put it away as well. Okay, this is still on the, I'm trying to see who where it came from. I don't know. It's still on its little thing though. That's kind of cute. It's like a little mini kids charm bracelet. Okay, we've got another bead shell type deal. Which you could wrap and layer. One's pretty nice. Oh, I think we got a mate. I think we got a mate. I think we got a mate. There we go. Those are actually very cute. Okay, this is some kind of seeds. Dried seeds. I don't want to stop you guys. Okay, stretchy bracelet. Ooh, I don't think this is sterling, but it's pretty. That's very pretty. Yeah, I, I think 
didn't think it was sterling, but it's still very nice. Okay. Uh, handmade earring. It looks to me like it's a chakra earring. I don't know. A stretchy pearl bracelet. This one I could see too. It is not sterling, but still, very, again, very nice. Yeah. Oh, found another mate, but it doesn't have the hook for the earring, so. Okay, got a little shell bracelet. Got a very blown out stretchy necklace, I mean stretchy bracelet. And a, well these are cute. They're taped together. They're little fall leaves. Made out of, almost seems like Bakelite or something. They're, they gotta be handmade. Those are adorable. My mother-in-law would probably love those. Okay, here's another one we need to find the mate for. Here are some, uh, what you call it? Clip on. Another bracelet. Definitely not silver. And another puka shell earring that we don't have a mate for. There is an old vintage Santa pin. Not in good condition though. Oh, I believe we found another mate for the earrings. Uh, should I even pull any more out? I'm gonna be tempted not to go. Okay, so this one's got some missing doodads from it. So that's gonna go. Oh, I like this. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay, I found that other earring. Those are definitely homemade and they're not shockers because that one's a different color. earring. I don't really know what I'm going to do with all this jewelry. I just couldn't pass up that jewelry jar because I love to watch the jewelry jar unboxings. Now this is really nice. What is this? What is this? This is beautiful. I don't see any markings on it though, but it's so pretty. Oh no, it's missing one hangy downy. What a bummer. That's such a pretty necklace. I think this is made to look like silver, but it's not. Yeah, it's not, but that's still a very pretty faux amber necklace. I don't want to stop. I want to go through the rest. Okay, a little bangle. Stretchy bracelet. My blown out stretchy bracelet. A handmade necklace with a little key on it. This with the Brighton and the silver stuff off, sterling stuff I found. I've already more than made my money back on this. Okay, this is a little bracelet. But the ribbon going through it's really dirty. So, ooh, this is pretty. Oh, bummer. Center stone's out of it. Another thing for my daughter. This is probably sterling. This is one of those little, uh, 
I wonder if that means somebody had a baby that's an angel. I don't know. Yeah, this is marked right here. It's actually got several markings on it. I'll have to get my loop. I was unprepared for this video because it's my first one, but that is so sweet. Mm. Half-hearted. That doesn't feel like sterling or look like sterling. Cute. Oh god, it's five after. I've. All right. Oh, I found another. Found the mate for this strange earring. Uh, yuck. Trash. Trash. Just a little quartz watch with some missing rhinestones. Can't tell if those are sterling or not. Not marked. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. I rather like that. It's got these unique little... Can y'all see those little stones and beads? Like those look like they're copper. They got a patina on them. That's pretty, that's kind of cool. I may be up till midnight tonight when I get home finishing up this jar because I don't think I can leave it alone. Okay, this is cute. Little necklace. Okay, here's another one, another mate. But for real, I gotta go. Okay, to be continued, to be continued. This is probably long enough anyway for one video.